Today I'm going to talk a little bit about my new strength program, Intelligent Strength, and I'm also going to show you a really cool corrective exercise for your shoulders, but mostly in this video I'm going to be discussing why some training programs can actually make your muscle imbalances and posture worse. What's going on everybody? It's Blake Bowman here with Gorilla Zen Fitness and in today's video I want to start off by asking you a question that I'm going to build off of in this video as well as several other videos that I'm going to upload this week. My intention here is to provide you with solutions that you can use right away to address this question. The question is, are you somebody that wants to work out and train and be active without aches and pains or without making your muscle imbalances and posture worse? I'm going to assume you answered yes to that and that's a good thing because that's exactly what I'm going to address in today's video as well as the next two videos that I'm uploading this week and I'm also going to be addressing that very thing in my new strength program, Intelligent Strength. Now you probably know my story by now just by virtue of the fact that you're watching this video. However, if you don't know my story, I used to have a lot of different injuries, a lot of different muscle imbalances all throughout my body. I was able to fix myself and now I teach thousands of people all over the world how to do the same for themselves. I've delivered a TEDx talk here at a university in my local hometown on this subject and I've also been talking on YouTube and teaching these concepts on here for a couple of years and I just reached over 4 million views recently. Now to get into the meat of this video today, what I really wanted to talk about was the fact that many you know, training programs or their strength training programs or whatever that you can acquire from websites like bodybuilding.com, T Nation, or even from social media people that you follow, fitness people, oftentimes these programs actually make muscle imbalances worse and distort posture even further. My intention here is basically to arm you with the tools and knowledge so that you can prevent these things from happening to you. So the reason why many popular training programs can actually lead to greater dysfunction in the body is primarily due to three reasons, two of which I'm going to break down in today's video and the third reason I'm going to talk more about two days from now in my second upload this week. So the first reason why most programs are actually going to add dysfunction to your body is that they lack corrective exercises that are integrated within them. They oftentimes just simply assume that you're somebody that has no history of injuries, perfect muscular balance and posture, and that's just not really the case, oftentimes at least. The second reason is sometimes these programs actually cause muscle imbalances. So they're not only not considering the fact that you may have them, but they actually are sometimes the root cause because the people that make these programs don't have you know, an awareness or an interest in you know, proper mechanics and muscular balance. Bodybuilding programs, for example, are notorious for overdeveloping the pecs and the lats, which will internally rotate your arms and set you up for all sorts of different shoulder injuries. So coming back to number one and building off of that, it's very important to realize that in today's society, most people walking around, I would say 90% of people, have you know, moderate to severe postural distortions and muscular imbalances that need to be addressed with corrective exercise. If it's not being specifically addressed, then it's probably being ignored. And with things like this, the longer you ignore them, the more severe they get and the more complicated they get. They can start causing other issues like injuries. So it's absolutely imperative that you have at least some corrective exercises integrated into your general fitness routine to address these common you know, muscle imbalances and postural distortions. It really doesn't matter if you're training for weight loss, you know, weight gain, or athleticism, you're just trying to you know, maintain your weight but be more athletic. Regardless of what your goals are, you need to have corrective exercises as part of your routine. Now I make tons of videos on this kind of stuff um, on my YouTube channel here. For your convenience, I've included some of the best videos that I've made on some of the best corrective exercises for common postural issues right beneath this video in the description. One that I want to show you on this video though is called a wall slide and it's actually a really, really good corrective exercise to improve shoulder posture, right? It's gonna stop your shoulders from falling forward. It's pretty challenging, but if you can do it right, it's awesome. To set up for this movement, all that you need is a wall, okay? So you sit in front of a wall, you scooch your butt all the way against the wall so that the back of your pelvis is on the wall. You wanna keep that on the wall. You also wanna keep the lower back, the upper back, and the back of the head all on the wall at once, okay? So you kinda of wanna tuck that chin a little bit to work on that forward head posture. You don't wanna be doing it with your head up here like this. 
tuck the chin, make sure that the whole back is flat against the wall. And then from here, you're going to put your arms up against the wall like this, like you're going to be doing a shoulder press, okay? The goal here is to keep your entire arm flat against the wall as you slide your arms up against the wall. So you're really going to have to be activating your upper back as you do this, okay? So you're going to put your arms up in this position, push back, activate those upper back muscles. Don't let your back arch off of the wall and slide up the wall like this. Doing your best to keep everything on the wall as you perform it, okay? You can see in my face, it's pretty difficult to do this exercise correctly. Um, and you know, common mistakes that people make is one, they'll arch their back off the wall or their, their shoulders will drop down like this. You don't wanna be doing that. If you can't do this properly, then what I would recommend you do is lay on the floor and actually do it facing the ceiling. That way gravity will assist you, it'll push down on you and make the exercise a little bit easier. Um, you know, with that being said, I really like this exercise because you get two benefits from it. One, it stretches the front of the shoulders and the pectoral um, muscles. And the second thing that it does is it actually strengthens the upper back. And those two things, when done together, like what you're doing with this exercise, what they will do is they will dramatically improve your shoulder position, your, your joint centration, and your shoulder posture in general. So I highly recommend you try this exercise. So if you have shoulder issues, rounded shoulders, or impingement syndrome, anything like that, incorporate that exercise into your routine. Start by doing like two sets of 15 reps and eventually progress until you're doing something closer to like four sets of 15 reps. So now I wanna come back to reason number two, which is that some programs can actually cause muscle imbalances in the first place. And this is just oftentimes due to the fact that whoever is writing these programs is oftentimes just not even considering muscular balance, symmetry, and posture and things like that. Like I said earlier, many programs, especially in the bodybuilding world, call for way too much volume and in turn overdevelopment of the pec muscles and you know the lats. And this is just one of many like common errors that I see in programming that really leads to greater dysfunction in people and sometimes causes it. So not only do some programs just totally ignore corrective exercises, which are needed because we have these muscle imbalances due to our lifestyle, but some programs are actually adding dysfunction on top of dysfunction. Some programs are causing more muscular imbalances in conjunction with the ones that we already have from our lives. As a tip to you, you know, the pecs and the lats are area, two areas that typically need strengthening and lengthening, not more shortening. So if you have that internally rotated, you know, gorilla arm posture going on, then you actually want to kind of lay off training those areas maybe a little bit. Um, but if not, then definitely include stretching exercises for those muscles. And you know, on that same token, you know, areas where I commonly see, you know, weakness in my clients is without a doubt 100% in the obliques and the glutes as well as the scapular retractors, those muscles of your upper back, right? So those are the muscles that really need to be focused on and uh, you know, your programming basically has to have direct um, exercises that target those areas in order to have optimal alignment and address a lot of those dysfunctions that are very common. Now the third reason why a lot of programs add dysfunction instead of taking it away from the body is that many programs rely far too much on bilateral exercises as opposed to unilateral exercises. Bilateral exercises are exercises that work both sides of the body at once like doing a barbell bench press and unilateral exercises are exercises that just work one side of the body at a time. This is something I'm going to be talking a lot more about in my next video that I'm uploading two days from now, um, later this week. Um, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you catch that. Also in that video, I'm going to be showing you two of my favorite unilateral exercises. That's pretty much it for today's video, but before I go, I want you to leave me a comment down below. What I want you to do is tell me your experience with other programs that you've tried, right? So let me know what your experience on those was. Let me know if they you know, helped your muscle imbalances or made them worse. You know, just leave me a comment. Let me know, you know like I said, what your experience has been. Um, I'll do my best to personally respond to all the comments that I receive on this video. So um, like I said, leave me a comment. That's it for today. Stay tuned, like I said, and I'll see you in two days.